What's up guys, Gamepost here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to set up a dual PC setup for streaming. This setup is using OBS NDI, which allows you to stream your games from your gaming PC over the network to your streaming PC. First thing you're going to do is download OBS Studio on your gaming PC and have your Streamlabs OBS on your streaming PC. Once you have both of these programs installed, you'll need to install NDI SDK on both your main computer and your streaming computer. There is an article in the description where you can click the link and download the program directly. Then you'll need to follow the prompts and install. Once you've installed the program, you need to go ahead and reboot both of your computers. Next step is to install the OBS NDI plugin on both PCs as well. The link is in the description. Once you're at the link, you will download the Windows installer and run through the setup. Now once you're done, go ahead and open up OBS Studio on your gaming PC. You want to make sure you go to settings and configure your video settings to what you want them to be as they will lock. Go ahead and go up to tools here and you'll see an option called NDI output settings. Go ahead and click that and another box should pop up. Make sure to select the main output and give your gaming PC a name as this will be your main PC. Now go ahead and go over to your second PC or your streaming PC. You want and then open Streamlabs OBS and on one of your scenes select the plus button to add a new source. You will see the option for NDI sorts. Go ahead and add new source from there. Select the drop down and make sure to select the option that you named your gaming PC. Once selected you will see your desktop and Streamlabs OBS from your main gaming PC. If it is a black screen you want to go ahead and make sure you add a display option in OBS Studio on your main PC. Now if you do have it set up and it is a black screen completely even when you do have OBS Studio up and running and it is not sending a video over. Uh, what you want to go ahead and do is on both your PCs here you want to go to settings you then want to go to network and internet and select ethernet and then select the network you're currently connected to and change the network profile to private. After that you want to go ahead and search in Windows Windows Defender Firewall once you have pulled that up, you want to allow an app or feature through. Scroll down into where you see OBS S64.exe or OBS64, and you want to make sure both private and public is set for both of them and hit OK. After that, you want to go ahead and restart both OBS Studio and Streamlabs OBS on both of your PCs and possibly delete the NDI source you already added and re add it. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you're needing any further assistance or have any other questions, my discord link is down in the description here or you can simply comment uh, if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a like comment subscribe and i'll see you guys later